Hey Care Bears, it's Haley here. Welcome back to another Raw High video on my channel. You can see by the title what this is about and it's probably confusing because I still have a badge here. But I literally just got the message last night and I tried to talk it out with them, but I just don't want to anymore. I just, I just don't want to anymore. I love Royal High. Let me just first of all say that. And this is not scripted at all, so please bear with me here. I love Royal High. I love the community. You guys are like what makes me still want to play. Like that is the main motivation with me playing. I love playing with you guys. I love interacting with you guys. I don't know if you notice, but I'm always hard in comments. Like I'm trying my best to like every comment or most comments on all my videos because also ignore my face in the game, but I try my best and I'm sorry there's no face cam. I know this isn't like more one-on-one, -on -one, but I'm just recording this last minute because I just decided on a whim that I just, I want to tell my truth, I guess, you know? Um, I don't know how to start this, but basically Royal High is removing my badge and um you might be wondering why would they be removing my badge and the reason why is because i didn't say things that they wanted me to say i guess is what it is um they i have screenshots which i'm gonna get into in a second but the gist of it is that i felt like i wasn't allowed to be honest and post about my honest opinions on the game without being dm'd after i make an honest post or video like and usually when i'm honest i always try to remain respectful but it still didn't seem like it was enough for whoever was in charge of dming me or i don't know really but i got dm'd multiple times by royal high privately and i always kept quiet about it because i just didn't want to like i just don't like being confrontational i like to talk about the game and stuff that's like my favorite thing to do and sometimes it's just not always going to be positive or happy-go-lucky you know and um i think royal high just did not agree with that they want me to always be happy-go-lucky and stuff so the first thing i'm going to show you guys is about the main messages like what they said to me to tell me they want to remove my badge and I feel so weird making a video like this but I just wanted to tell you guys before you saw it leave I guess if you, if you know what I mean so here is the messages right now up on the screen hi Haley sorry for the delay in messaging you here as you can see we've been really busy especially with social media related things so what they're referencing is on Twitter about 10 minutes I'm so sorry, I said the wrong thing. They didn't message me 10 minutes before. They actually messaged me an hour after they announced they were moving over to Threads. I said last night on Twitter that it was 10 minutes before, but I was wrong. I'm sorry, I don't know how I mixed up 10 minutes in an hour. It was kind of late when they messaged me, I'm sorry. They announced that they are like abandoning their Twitter account and going over to Instagram Threads, which if you don't know, it's kind of more difficult to get in contact with them over on Instagram Threads. So it says, we. Uh, to clarify, after your tweet regarding sharing passwords, by the way, if you don't know what the sharing password tweet is, it is this tweet right here on the screen. So this tweet was a joke and I clarified it was a joke here too and Royal High responded to my joke tweet and they were very like serious about it which okay that's fine like you can be serious about it but then afterwards they unfollowed me on twitter without saying anything to me and i was like what the heck did i do like i hope that they they don't think i was serious you know because i was just joking around and then they followed me back randomly so i thought that was the that was that but then they messaged me this so i don't think my joke really warranted this um because first of all it was a joke and also they said that my joke was a risk to like get people to be scammed but i really did think the joke through because if someone was to believe me they would s be sending their password to just royal high and it's not like royal high would hack someone right so it was just a lighthearted joke honestly and then they just basically took it as if i was trying to be malicious and i know that it sounds like really that's it like that's why but there is a lot more history between me and whoever is behind this social media account and i'm gonna go over that soon i just want to say like this isn't confirmed or anything but in my eyes i do feel as if they are just forming a narrative that they want to have against me to remove me and make it seem like i'm trying to be malicious when it was just a lighthearted joke in my eyes and to many others anyways continuing on 
with uh, their message. We were reached out to by some concerned parties regarding the implications your tweet could have. As a result, we felt compelled to publicly comment on your post to ensure our players' safety. If it weren't a matter of public cybersecurity, we of course would have DM'd you privately instead. While we understood that it was a joke and believe the majority of people would have also understood that, it is still very important to protect the minority of people who may be adversely impacted by it. There are players who share their passwords with other players for the exact reason you joked about. So again, I just want to like go back to what I said before. The joke was to send your password to Royal High. It wasn't to send it to other players. So again, this feels like they're just trying to put a narrative onto me. I just want to say like it really feels like that they're trying to pick and choose and take and put words into my mouth basically is what it feels like they're trying to do here. We receive emails from these players regularly and players even send us their login information regularly even before your joke. So again, I'm not really sure why that is a problem because it's not like they're going to hack. We always want to contribute to safe online behavior as much as we can. We don't believe jokes are entirely off limits, but this may need to come with a clarification for the more impressionable of our audience. So I'd like to just clarify that I did make a clarification that it was a joke before they even put out their own type of clarification under my tweet about this little password joke. You can see here with the timestamps that I put my clarification before they did theirs. Your comment responses, especially those that were joking and laughing along with people who were directly mocking our response does not reflect well on the relationship between the social media team and you. We want to always show mutual respect both ways between us and our program members and everyone else. So I just want to say something. Is mutual respect when you do a subtweet about someone as soon as they reply to your tweet saying that you're getting multiple DMs about a theory video that I clearly stated was a theory video about the Halloween update possibly not coming because they're working on the school. And I know this might come off a little harsh, but I'm just going to be real with you. It might as well have been canceled because nothing was added in this Halloween update this past year because they were so focused on the new school. I made a theory video basically just saying like, you know, the Halloween update might not come or it might be very lackluster this year because of the new school. Then Royal High tweeted celebrating 100,000 followers on Twitter. And then they replied to their tweet to make it a thread to basically just say, just a note, we've been receiving some messages asking us if we have confirmed that our Halloween update are canceled due to a popular YouTube video claiming as such. Which by the way, the video only got 27,000 views. I don't know where they claimed it was popular because at the time I think it only had like a little bit under 20,000. I'm not saying that isn't a lot of views, but in comparison to other videos I've made, that definitely is not much in comparison. So I'm not sure why they called this popular. And I know that this could not be me. Like you're probably thinking like, why would you think it's you? Well, if you look at the time when they posted this, it is 3.56 and I wish them a congratulations. I 354 two minutes after they decided to post this when it wasn't even related to the post basically trying or at least in my eyes it felt like a an attack on me just for making a theory video when many other youtubers do it and although um many other youtubers do make theory videos i still did apologize for making a theory video and that was what my whole theory video was about. And I think along the lines, since I did make that video, a lot more people uh, started to DM Royal High and asking them questions. And that was not at all my intention. I really just wanted to make a theory video about what I was thinking and what I have seen other people say before. A lot of people were concerned about how Royal High saying that the new school could release into late September could maybe affect the fact that like a lot of people think that's fall so i just want to make a video about that and just like it, just talking about my thoughts because i really do not know much like i am not a developer for royal high i just like to make theory videos i make a lot of them on this channel and so i would just like to apologize if it 
made you think it was confirmed or that I must have been like very misleading. So I am very, very sorry for that. And especially to Royal High for all the DMs they are getting. I am very sorry about all the DMs that you might have gotten because of my video. That was not all my intention. I've tried to stop making too many theory videos since then because I don't want them to make posts like this about me. Sometimes it's really hard for me not to when there isn't any information to put out to send out to you guys because they don't really update us on anything. So I have no choice but to make theory videos and guess what's happening next because they don't ever tell us what's happening next. So I just like to make theory videos for that purpose. It's never supposed to be an ill intent but Royal High made it seem like it by tweeting this about me two minutes after I just wished them a congratulations. So that felt like a personal attack on me, but I digress. Back to the original post. <laughs> we have discussed with you before about being open for you to contact at any time, ever need to discuss any issues or ask any questions. Despite this, you chose to discuss your frustrations publicly, sharing your concerns on social media despite having direct access to talk to us. So anyways, what they're talking about here is I am a very, I guess you could say, open book like i like to just say what i think right off the bat like on stream i'm really honest about how i feel about updates i'm i'm not ever negative i'm just being honest i always try to be honest while also being kind that's like my goal as a person is to always be honest but kind you're allowed to share your honest opinions while still being kind even if they're negative and i always try my best to do that sometimes i do get a little frustrated especially in regards to things that i have sounded more frustrated about with royal high for example i did post on uh, a tweet about apple bobbing saying like why did apple bobbing get removed um and you're gonna see in a little bit between these messages that we start referencing that because i actually got in trouble for tweeting about how i thought the apple bobbing cooldown was kind of not fair and um i don't know if any of you guys played during Halloween, but basically the apple bobbing thing was basically like this mini game to get candy in Royal High and then they basically nerfed it where you weren't able to get as much candy anymore. They put a limit on it and this was a really big problem for players with like wrist disabilities or just disabilities in general where they can't do like ghost hunting and stuff. It just was not accessible for them to be able to do ghost hunting or the other ways to farm candy. I can't remember any other ways, honestly, but I posted about my frustrations about that. And I even made a video about my honest opinions on the whole entire Royal Halloween update. And a lot of you guys seem to agree with me. And I made the video because a lot of people had the same opinions as me. Like I saw on Twitter, a lot of people were complaining about how lackluster it was, you know, and like, again, I knew that it was going to be lackluster because of my theory I posted. Ah, and they got mad at me for making a theory video, even though it really was lackluster. Okay, anyways, I'm getting a little riled up just talking about it, because this is my first time actually, like, talking about it, so I'm sorry about how all over the place this is. I'm making this at 10 p.m., so anyways. Uh, you're going to see in the next few messages references to apple bobbing, and what that is about is this time when Royal High DM'd me again, threatening to remove me from the program or remove my badge in simpler terms because I didn't agree that the, the approach to apple bobbing was right and also the way that the update was delayed so long just for it to be lackluster. This is all just referencing Royal Halloween. If you don't remember, Royal Halloween update was just a big giant fiasco. Okay, let's go back to the messages. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I will show the screenshots referencing the apple bobbing issues soon. Despite this, you chose to discuss your frustrations publicly, sharing your concerns on social media, despite having direct access to talk to us. I'll explain my reason why I didn't just DM them for a lot of things in a second. It actually will be explained in a little bit. So anyways, unfollowing you was unintentional. So again, like I referenced, um, Royal High did unfollow me for my little joke. I replied to someone and was like, I hope that Royal High knows I was joking because they unfollowed me. And um, Royal High is upset with me in this message because I didn't just reach out to them to inform them that I was unfollowed and I decided to just say it to someone else. But Royal High's following is completely public. You can see everyone that they follow. So for them to get on to me for basically just stating the obvious and anyone could have found this out themselves if they looked at the following, it's just so weird. Like, why can't I talk about that? But they said we would have gladly 
rectified the situation and explained what happened to you. We have tried to support you several times with your concerns and frustrations and have reached out to you often to check in. We have ensured we are open to you on multiple platforms should you ever have any issues to raise. We're sorry we haven't made it clear enough that we are here for you to talk to if you have concerns. And we're sorry we haven't been welcoming enough so that you can feel as though you're able to reach out to us. Whenever you have frustrations, including the recent implication that we shouldn't have commented on your posts, these are all examples of things we want to have open and respectful communication about. At this current time, we feel we cannot successfully establish that communication with you and it is important that we do so to maintain a respectful association. At this time, as a result of our inability to establish a healthy communication between us, we have decided that we are going to have to remove you from our crown royalty program aka removing my badge we are deeply sorry that we have to do so however you will always be able to reach out to us and you have been refollowed so why did they refollow me if they're removing me at this time we don't feel there is a mutual respect and healthy communication and so for now this is the decision we feel is best so that is their message and i did reply to them and some things in this message might feel like it repeated because i said it already in this video but anyways here is my response Every time we do actually contact, it takes months for anything to be answered. When I post about it, it gets answered quicker. This Discord is hardly active or used, so in my opinion, using other social medias is a lot quicker to getting a hold of my concerns and community concerns. And me DMing in December about concerns was never responded until recently when I had posted something not related to it. So, basically, in the, like, YouTube Discord, they have, like, this ticket system, so Royal High is open to just closing any of your messages whenever so you can't go back to them but they can have them for themselves so i can't screenshot this but i'm not lying when i say this i dm them about an issue with the chimney in uh royal high they did fix this so it's not like they didn't do anything but i am just saying i dm them about an issue where if you had epilepsy and you were to fly up the chimney the brick pattern here would be like repeating really quickly and it was really harmful to the eyes and so so I just wanted to send them a link about it and they never responded to me. Um, they did fix it, I heard, but they didn't respond to me. So I just found that little, like a little weird. Like, why wouldn't they respond to me over that? Like, they could have at least said that it's been fixed. Like, and then the other times when they actually do respond to me, they dismiss stuff. Like, they just make me feel like I have no point in arguing with them. Like, they just dismiss everything. I'm not really a confrontational person. I try my best to because I really care about the game and I don't want to see it fail like that is not the point of this video i don't want to see it fail why would i want to see a game fail that i make videos about you know like that's that would be really weird of me but when i try to like help out and tell them like what's wrong i get dismissed and not listened to kind of like how a lot of people in the community feel too it's not just you guys it's also me and you think that you know with my platform that they would listen more but guys i i hate to break it to you but they're not even listening to me and i don't know what to do i'm sorry that i couldn't uh get them to listen to me me DMing in December about concerns was never responded to until recently when I have posted something not related to it. Other times when I actually do get a reply, my concerns are always dismissed and not respected. I don't think it's fair that I'm not allowed to talk about being unfollowed when the following section from the account is public and it was public knowledge. The situation with my joke that happened in my eyes was lighthearted and if I really meant a malicious intention, I would have said to give random players their passwords, but I didn't. I said give Royal High their passwords as a joke in case of the few that could genuinely believe me. I knew if they were to send their password to Royal High, that it wouldn't have consequences because they wouldn't actually get hacked. I feel like I have been personally attacked as I have had passive aggressive tweets made towards me, have been in trouble for making theory videos when many other YouTubers have done it, and I just am not allowed to say anything when others have, and it feels like nobody else faces the measures of consequences that I do. I don't think it's right to expect me or anyone of the matter to be 100% serious all the time and have no critiques or criticism. As someone who has worked with other companies and games, I have been told by others that it is okay to be honest and i feel like that isn't what is being asked of me from this if you want to have mutual respect we can but i don't like how i'm being treated differently than everyone else for being honest i feel like what i said as a joke shouldn't even come close to such consequence i could have been asked to delete it but instead i felt attacked by the account replying to it and making a light-hearted joke more serious than it should have been it's not fair that every time i am contacted about concerns it's after the fact for example the apple bobbing issue i had was answered 
registered after the update and it was too late anyways. So basically they were DMing me in November. Around near the end of the update, I think, it was no point in fixing the issue because the update was literally about to end in like a week, basically. That feels really dismissive to me and I just don't think it's right to say I haven't shown any respect when I have tried to understand multiple responses when they all have felt really dismissive and not at all progressive. So dismissive is basically when they are just trying to shut down anything I say and ignore it and make it seem like it's not that big of a deal. Like any concern I have, it's not that big of a deal to them it feels like. I feel like everything I say is misconstrued to be malicious when I was never trying to be at all when I am either joking or voicing a concern me and the community have. So for that, I'm sorry that things on my end haven't been understood, but I just find this very unfair as there has clearly been lots of miscommunication. So that was my response. Here is what Royal High said. On the occasions you have reached out to us, we have always discussed and communicated with you. Lance himself has as well. The only time we were late to responding was a message you sent us about apple bobbing, but we had already publicly made a statement regarding the apple bobbing decisions made in game so that everyone was aware. Therefore, rather than repeating ourselves directly to you, we felt our public statement made our position clear. So they're saying here that because they made a public post about a concern everyone had that there was no point in responding to me. So why isn't that the same for me? I publicly made a post about a concern, so why are they still expecting me to DM them privately about a concern if I already made a public post about it? They're expecting me to do something that they don't even do themselves. Other people are reached out to regarding similar situations too. We just handle all of these cases privately as we are with you now. I actually found out there are a lot more people that got DMs from Royal High. I just didn't know and everyone was so silent that I felt like I was the only person, like seriously. But there are other YouTubers who have made videos recently, ever since I came out with uh, my version of the story, I guess, on Twitter. And I posted about me saying I'm going to make this video. But there are other people that are also impacted by Royal High basically like monitoring what we can and cannot say. We feel you should be allowed to say or share whatever you want to, but if what you say or share doesn't align with what we hope for from our members of our programs, we are of course allowed to decide whether or not we want to continue that partnership and continue to endorse those creators. So they're basically saying here, if I say anything that they disagree with, that they are allowed to remove me. And I mean, that's true. They are allowed to remove me, like, you know, because it's their game. They can do what they want with their game. But morally... It's just not correct to remove someone for having an opinion when all I've tried to do is like hope the best for Royal High. It's really weird that they think that just being honest means you're being negative. It's that's not the case. As mentioned at this time, we don't feel we're able to establish a healthy communication between us, and so we have come to the decision we made today. We're sorry you feel as though this is unfair or as though we are treating you unfairly. That is never our intention. In, in the future, things change. We, of course, encourage you to apply for the program again, but for now, this is the decision we feel is best. So that's what they said. Here's my response to them. Not only were responses late about apple bobbing, there was also late responses to concerns I sent in December that was responded to a while after the Glitter Frost update had already ended. What I'm trying to state was there was never any communication to begin with, and it feels like I'm being completely blamed for unhealthy communication. I've shown nothing but support and have always encouraged people to play the game. I have so many people who impersonate me and scam in the game, pretending to be me and removing my badge for a joke and saying it could result in scams just to enable more people to be able to scam by removing what shows a form of verification and now nobody will know if it's genuinely me in the game doesn't really make sense to me. So if you're wondering why I have been holding back getting my badge removed because guys this has been going on since September 2022. From the top of my head I can recall the times Royal High has contacted me is September 2022, April 2023, November 2023, and now currently uh, February 2024. I have screenshots to every conversation except for the one in April 2023. They, again, like I said, they have a ticket system so they can close the chat so I'm not allowed to go back on our old messages. It's a very sticky situation with that, but if you want to know what happened in April, basically I just made this video about how I didn't think that uh, Royal High was new player friendly and they got upset at me for making that video and said that like it's not correct statistically when I was just talking about from my personal experience and I was 
kind of basically not really forced but highly encouraged to take the video down they just basically started messaging me more and more and i have the other messages but that's the only one i don't have messages from because they closed the ticket before i could screenshot the messages but if you're wondering why i've been holding back on not getting my badge removed it's because i don't want people i know like it's kind of weird of me to say this after making a scam joke on Twitter, but I really don't want people to get scammed. Like, that's my main reason of keeping my badge. People impersonate me all the time. I literally have proof of that from my video yesterday. I caught an impersonator. It was a really funny video, but it was someone truly genuinely impersonating me and i just don't want people to get taken advantage of or people to pretend to be me and say like rude things to people and then they think i genuinely said that to them when it wasn't even me like i don't want people to think i'm a mean person and not only that but there's been so many people that have been waiting hours on hours to join me in game on streams and stuff to get this badge and if my badge got removed all their hard work would go to waste and i felt so bad about that so i tried my hardest to basically try to be honest while also like i guess like pleasing and making royal high happy enough to not remove my badge because i just really cared about the people who really tried hard to get my badge and waited hours but i also really didn't want people to get scammed by impersonators those are, that was my two main reasons i really don't care about the status of the badge i never applied for a badge i was given it by an ex-developer for royal high i never applied i never signed up for all of these weird code of conduct and suddenly like a year after i got my badge actually no a few months after i got my badge all this code of conduct stuff was put in place and by code of conduct i mean like things that um i am allowed and not allowed to say um basically like things to follow so you don't get your badge removed back to what i said on my reply i do worry about the impersonation and scamming that is used with my name i just found an account yesterday that was pretending to be me and recorded it if you don't believe me i'm genuinely confused how this joke was the pushing point and if you wanted to healthfully communicate there could have been questions asked on deleting the post they never asked me to delete the tweet never did they ask and now i'm getting in trouble for the post they could have asked me to delete the tweet they basically made me delete a youtube video before i don't have screenshots of the proof of that but they did really highly encourage me to delete a youtube video about like how it's hard to start um in royal high like as a new player anyways what royal high said was we have reached out to you several times in the past to discuss situations and clarify things with you we are not blaming you and don't want you to feel as though we are. We apologize for our part in not allowing you to feel welcome enough to contact us and we are not assuming any blame on you whatsoever. With that said, we don't feel we have a healthy communication between us and that is why we have made this decision. We don't feel a healthy partnership contains one party speaking about the other negatively or encouraging negative attention and we would never encourage that towards you. At this point, I feel we are just going around in circles and would once again like to say that we apologize and if anything changes going forward, we encourage you and anyone else who is no longer in our programs to feel free to reapply in the future. That's what they said, and as you can see, they're kind of just dismissing me. They're not really addressing anything I'm saying in my messages. They're just basically saying, like, we're not blaming you, and we just don't think it's healthy. Like, they're just kind of saying stuff that I already have read before, you know? Here is my reply. I'm healthily communicating with you right now on what my intentions are, and I'm still feeling like I'm not being fully listened to. I'm trying to communicate right now the problem, and I am still being dismissed currently in this moment. If you want healthy communication, you need to know that it is important to hear everything, not just the positives, but the negatives. I never encourage anybody to do anything negative towards the team nor the game. Everything I have been saying in the messages within this conversation haven't been clearly addressed and have been dismissed time after time with the same messages, which is causing us to go in circles this is what unhealthy communication is and what causes me to feel like the only way to listen is to amplify my voice by saying things outside of dms this is not how you should go about communicating and it feels like once again that things are being misconstrued i'm saying right now my concerns so we can fix this since i was never contacted about my joke i posted even though that's exactly what has been asked of me to do if i'm not being blamed why am i being punished by removing something that helps people not get scammed 
happened. So here is Royal High's response. We are currently responding to you and have expressed that we are not trying to cause upset in any way. However, the communication prior to this we do not feel was healthy or productive from either of us. If neither of us are able to provide healthy conversation that each person is expecting, it makes no sense to continue a partnership from either party's perspective. We are sorry you feel we didn't communicate accurately or effectively regarding the apple bobbing or glitter frost updates but that does not change the fact that you have made many negative videos and tweets regarding the game which you have not discussed with us beforehand therefore not giving us the chance to give an opinion nor answer to any questions you may have before you make videos on them the joke you made on twitter was not the deciding factor but we, given we and Lance have directly discussed with you on many occasions how we feel about the way you have communicated or shared your opinions in the past this is the decision we have made based on those experiences a group of people business or game not wanting to continue a partnership with you is not a punishment we are not punishing you by deciding who we have in our programs once again we are sorry you have been made you feel as though this is so confusing <laughs> we are sorry you have been made you feel as though you cannot reach out to us effectively and we're sorry we have made you feel negative regarding the situation but we have spoken to you many times and feel the implication that we haven't is unfair this is going to be our fourth or fifth discussion regarding our feelings over our communication we know you haven't encouraged negative action towards the game or the team but your discussion of negative things or the way you have worded certain things makes it clear you disagree with the direction we are taking our game but you haven't directly communicated that with us opting instead to share that opinion publicly that is not healthy communication that is why we have made our decision today and we don't think there is much more we can productively add to this conversation as you do keep saying we aren't acknowledging what you're saying but i have responded to each of your points that you have made so this is my final response they did say that they would respond to me tomorrow it's currently tomorrow and i just kind of like i was just done i didn't want to wait on the response i did send a message though before i realized i didn't want to wait on a response but i just feel like it was it was no point anymore because of everything that they have done to me they've treated me so terribly i honestly am so tired of it i did send one more message i didn't wait until they responded to me again to post last night i made a post about how royal high is removing my badge and i didn't wait for them to respond because i just was honestly so sick of this i was so sick of them dangling this over my head and making me feel like i can't be myself in my favorite game this is what i said but I'm not sure if there's ever going to be a response as I am making this video. Update, there was a response and I will show it after I show my response. Firstly, my negative videos or tweets, which I would more so call review and honest video tweets, are more so about what the community is already talking about and I have seen many times that the community has been trying to contact you guys about the concerns and topics that I make on such videos with no responses from the team towards the community about their concerns. Why do I contact about something hundreds to thousands are already mentioning, messaging, and asking about already with no response and this is when i mentioned the 2022 messages back in september 2022 was when i first tried to contact about a concern privately this conversation did not go well and i was dismissed multiple times this was in regards to me asking launch to apologize about the past tweets people called racist i'm going to show you guys those messages soon too i felt dismissed and not listened to and i've never been listened to before i've tried my best to have my utmost respect for the team while i have been completely undermined secondly it is clear that communication on both our ends has not been great but one why am I being held to a higher standard when responses on the other end have not been professional or timely? This isn't fair to put on one person. We are sorry you feel we didn't communicate accurately is a really strange way to word something when you've done something wrong. And I'm feeling like I'm being blamed for that. Thirdly, it was said that all the points have been addressed, but the one that is most important to me has not been addressed. This is the scamming issue. People are going to pretend to be me and others will continue to get scammed by impersonators more now if there's no verification on my end you said that the joke tweet wasn't the determining factor but that's all that was mentioned to me at the beginning of this conversation so i'm just really confused now what the point of this is it feels like it was out of nowhere i feel like i've been targeted so that's what i said to them they never responded to that 
and now I'm here making this video. So after I finished recording this video, Royal High did finally respond to my message regarding like my concerns and stuff uh, from that one reply I just read to you guys. And this is what they said. We apologize for any time we haven't gone back to you in a timely manner. However, we always try our best to be available to you to talk to whenever you need to and have spoken to you and responded to you on many, many occasions regarding issues you've brought to us. Crown Royalty Program is a direct endorsement from Royal High. It's why we are specific about the rules. It's not a method of identifying who are content creators and who are not. There are various systems across social media you can use to verify who you are, such as your check mark as a star creator. We are very appreciative of everything you've done to contribute to a more friendly, welcoming, and understanding community. We are sorry that we have been unable to communicate properly and get on the same page. We welcome you to apply again in the future and we consider you if you choose to do so. If you experience issues with scammers, we will of course help you accordingly. Thank you for talking with us and expressing your concerns. So. Obviously, I'm not going to respond to this message because what's done is done. I've already wanted to make this video because there's just no way that they're going to understand my point of view. But I want to at least explain it to you guys because I don't want you to just see my badge randomly disappear. But anyways, they said that um, there is easy ways to tell that people are scamming and impersonating me even without a badge. You're not really able to see the verification check since I'm a star creator in Royal High. When I press tab, it doesn't show it in the corner. The only time it really works is like if you're in the trading hub after like a trade is accepted. I believe I could be wrong, but it is still really hard to tell if they're really the creator or not because there's no form of verification within the game itself except for the badge and the journal and so without that it's going to cause more impersonation to happen with me now so just make sure that you're careful again you can see that they're holding me to another higher standard because they were upset at me for making a clear joke on a 13 plus app about scamming but now they don't really care about people who are actually going to scam and use the fact that my badge is gone to an advantage to actually scam people and it's not 13 plus it's all ages and I want to show you guys the past two conversations that I've had with Lon. So this wasn't from the official Royal High page, but the Royal High page told me to go to Lon's to talk about these issues. I was asked to go to Lon's about the apple bobbing issue. I was asked to go to Lon's about his racist tweets in the past. And both times I have been dismissed. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the apple bobbing issue and that conversation I had with Lon. So I just want to say, first of all, that this is my second time talking to him and and after the first time, you'll understand why I was responding the way that I was. I'll show my first time talking to him after this. I just was really not wanting to talk to him because I knew how he was going to talk to me based off of how I have talked to him before about him being racist. Let's go ahead and get into the messages about apple bobbing. Hey there, call me Haley. The social media team reached out to me and we decided it would be best if we scheduled a meeting for a voice call. If you can let me know when you have availability, that would be awesome for my most days in the early afternoon PSD work for me let me know I knew this wasn't gonna work out for me really I did not want a voice call hey thanks for the DM I appreciate you reaching out I'm unable to call unfortunately as I struggle with talking to people over the phone and then having my thoughts be clear I just have a hard time being comfortable with calling really anyone except for family I wouldn't mind DMing however I hope you understand I just was not comfortable with calling someone that I have never really talked to before and it was just, it was more like a comfort thing. Juan said, I definitely understand being uncomfortable with voice calls. I think a lot of value would be added to the conversation to be done over voice. Would you be comfortable being on a call but not having to speak and instead being able to write out your responses? Oh my gosh, that feels so uncomfortable still. He said, so that you're not too nervous about what this is all about. The social media team has brought me some concerns they have and they feel they've been unable to address them with you consistently and are worried they never will be able to. So I want to have a discussion about how best to proceed. I appreciate you taking the time to talk about it and I'm sorry for any stress this may and is causing. I said hello again. I apologize for the delay. It was my birthday when you had messaged me and I have been very busy all week celebrating with different family members and friends. I promise I'm not avoiding. As for the social media team, I understand they might struggle to address concerns towards me. However, I was not contacted about anything so I'm quite confused. So I said this because I was just genuinely confused why he said that they're having a hard time to contact me. I have a hard time communicating over the phone as I find it hard to retain all of the information being given to me or spoken to with me through voice and no text at all. So if these concerns are really important, I would rather read it so I can keep it in mind better. Thank you so much. 
he said no worries i hope you had a good birthday don't worry about it he quoted like something i said and then responded to it and said they brought it to their manager first who in turn brought it to me the reason they didn't reach out to you first was because they believe they have already discussed the issue with you at great lengths previously as such they were concerned that further attempts to reach out would end the same way no meaningful solution sorry to be the stick in the mud and bearer of bad news but really i went to bat for you and that's why i'm reaching out they insisted that they could handle it and it was only a heads up that they plan to remove you from the program so you can see that there's like some fear mongering here so that's basically what i took from that I'm not saying that's what he said but that is what i took from that however i am hopeful that we could get to the bottom of it so regarding the initial situation i'll briefly summarize my understanding of it from what the social media team has told me they believe some of the statements you were making reflected poorly on royal high but more importantly weren't true they stated that there was an open contact between yourself and the royal high social media team at the time and you didn't reach out with any concerns in essence they believe that you stated untrue things and that your reasoning was i'm just repeating concerns in the community they aren't always my thoughts and concerns I guess they might have misunderstood that, but my videos, my tweets is, yes, obviously me restating concerns in the community because I agree with the majority of the community. We can get into the specifics of the first instance if you want to, but I only mention it in any way to state how it is similar to the current concern. The most recent situation, I think there was more than one part to it, but the most concerning one that was brought up was the following. A tweet you made stating, I really don't understand the apple bobbing thing. Why do we all have to suffer for auto-clicking? Like, just ban the people who auto-click like what was always done. Why make it hard for innocent players? Then an additional tweet saying, I just want to know, like, please explain. So yes, that's true. I did tweet that and I found no harm in that. The claim is as follows. You started a public outcry about a concern that seems to bother you or at least bothers you on the behalf of others and asked for someone to explain it to you. However, at the same time, the social media team says that you express no concerns directly to them. Their concern is that though in your last discussion with them, you clearly stated you would reach out if you had a concern or question either on your behalf or someone else that you would reach out before expressing them publicly. The goal of which is to help prevent false information or not enough information to be spread or general negativity and frustration and improve communication. The issue is that though the topic may be a bit complicated to discuss why a mechanic was changed or nerfed, and then he mansplained nerfed being the rewards over time reduced. I, apparently I never play video games. <laughs> The discussion could and should have been had if you wanted to share any concerns. Instead of being a way to increase communication and raise concerns, the social media team believes that your method of handling issues and concerns you have leads to more confusion and negativity while being less likely to get meaningful feedback. They are saying that I am making the community more negative by saying things that the community is already expressing their concerns about. If anything, I feel like I am just amplifying and that would in turn, for a regular company or game, they would respond to that. But he's saying because I am amplifying community voices, there is no feedback. That's what I took from that. I. I, maybe I misunderstood. There were some other concerns that were brought up, but I believe they were all secondary in nature in regards to the issue. Essentially, after explaining that whole situation, I think it could be simplified into a couple questions that you can then elaborate on. One, did the social media team tell you after you spoke last time that questions and concerns about updates slash changes should be brought directly to them so they could help increase communication and provide more information? So this question, he's referencing to when they contacted me back in April, I believe, because I can't remember any other time that they contacted me before Halloween and after April so I think it is the one like conversation I have where I didn't screenshot it but I do promise you this it was in regards to me saying that I thought Royal High wasn't new player friendly and this was before the new school even came out so they were getting upset at me for saying that when the new school wasn't out yet and newsflash the new school is out and I don't think it's new player friendly still Two, if they did elaborate on that, why didn't you give them the opportunity to work with you regarding a concern? So here is my response. Regarding the reaching out, I apologize that I did not reach out about my concerns. The reason why I did not for this specific reason is because I didn't think they'd have an answer. When they would respond around that time about update concerns, their response was commonly saying that they can't answer regarding update issues. And I did give screenshots for an example, you can view them here. Um, so basically what happened was me asking about Royal Halloween. This was before the Royal Halloween update came out and Royal High said, we are just a social media team, not the developers who work on the updates. When they uh, responded to me like that, I took that as, okay, well, 
I guess I have no one to ask about future updates, so, you know, what's the point in contacting them? They also said we are only the social media team. We do not work on updates. We have to open our submission form so our developers who do work on the updates can continue working. That was a lot of their responses at the time when it came to regards to update concerns, actual in-game concerns. They just were like, we just do community stuff, you know? And I was like, okay, I understand that. Well, I guess I'm just gonna, you know, talk to the community because we all are wondering the same thing. Since I didn't think they could answer my question, I posted publicly wondering why since I didn't think there was anyone to actually go to. I apologize if maybe I had misunderstood. I just didn't know if they were able to answer because it was an update related question and concern. They did tell me to go to them in the past about update related issues, but then they also told me via response and tweet and others more recently that they don't work on updates, which made me assume they can't answer those concerns. And even if they were able to answer those concerns why do i have to talk about everything negatively privately why do i have to do that so why is this roblox bar at the top i don't think it's fair to expect me to keep in all of my criticism and not talk about it openly and i just don't think it's fair to expect me to always have to go into dms and then they take forever to respond and get no response until after the update's over that i had a concern about or until it's too late or until it's not even important anymore or they just when they do actually respond dismiss it i don't think it's worth dming if that's the only outcome i'm going to get and i feel like the only way to get maybe an outcome is from talking about it with you guys all right so this is what Juan said First, I would need more context to see what you were asking about to see what the answer is about. However, stating that they don't work on updates doesn't mean that they can never answer any concerns regarding updates. In particular, when you've been told explicitly in the past to bring those concerns directly to them. Secondly, this is not an example of the requested communication the social media team asked from you and you agreed to. Again, I never really agreed to this. I didn't apply for a badge again. It was just given to me um, from an ex-developer that my brother is close friends with. That was literally it. I was given it because I was supposed to already have one because I had a star code. In your example, it was a public Twitter thread. I'm not sure about what because there's no context, but you imply it's a concern regarding an update. That would make your example of why you didn't reach out directly to them another example of you not reaching out to them first and instead making a public post on it. So I'm not even allowed to ask questions publicly now is what it looks like it's being said. Finally, even if they didn't answer your concern on a public Twitter thread, that doesn't mean you never have to reach out regarding any concerns ever again. The first screenshot I sent him about like the response about not being able to answer update related questions was one that didn't have me asking about Royal Ween. Like all I literally said was Royal Ween and um, I sent him one without me saying Royal Ween. So that's what he's referencing. This is the screenshot I sent him and this is the screenshot I sent him after he asked for more context. I didn't think that me just saying Royal Ween was that important, but he did ask for it. So I sent him it. And I think it's important. I mean, not really, but if you just really want to know, I guess for context that the original post was them posting about like a story contest um, for winter already before Halloween's update was already out. I believe that's what it was about and everyone was so confused because the Halloween update wasn't even out yet and they were already moving on to winter or at least like the like community account was so that's what the context was and then they ended up deleting it. Thank you for the clarification. In my photo connected to this message, I share more context. Unfortunately, the post was taken down by the social media team. It wasn't my post, but it had to do with winter stories and I was wondering about the Halloween update because at the time it had not come out yet. And that's when they responded, which led me to believe that they can't respond about Halloween update related questions. I apologize for misunderstanding. I would have asked them if I had known they would know anything about it. Further into your reply, it says that the not requested contact form is replying to a public tweet on Twitter. I was a bit confused because I was wondering if I could have more clarification in regards to how to handle concerns. My question being, is the requirement that I cannot bring any attention or ask any questions to any possible concern publicly about the game and that I must only bring things to a social media team privately that needs to bring it to the dev team after. I am just searching for more clarification because I did not know if I was or wasn't allowed to ask any questions at all if people slash the public can see them. Thank you so much for your time. So I was asking like, you know, basically, am I not allowed to ask questions publicly on Twitter anymore? Let me just clarify. You're saying that you commenting just the word Royal Ween was you voicing a concern regarding the game or an update? I believe that 
this wasn't included in what I was sent because you saying the name of an upcoming update on a post unrelated to that update hardly seems like you voicing your concerns. It doesn't have a question mark and one word could be extrapolated a lot of ways. But I think the most common would be that you're either asking for Halloween or excited for it, not that you're asking regarding any specific concern. Their clarification is just stating facts. They are the social team and that they don't work on the updates. The reason that was stated in your comment would, could vary a bunch, but I personally assume it's because they believe you were asking for it and they let you know that they aren't the ones who make the update. Regardless, I don't think their answer was particularly helpful or informative or gave confidence in the correct ways. However, I hope you don't assume in the future that a non-answer in a public forum to a not question doesn't mean that a team will not be able to help you with any questions or concerns going forward. I'll answer your second question in a bit. Also, regarding your response to your comment, I don't think it was the best response and we'll talk to them about it. However, I don't think it qualifies as stating that they will never be able to answer any concerns about an update and I hope you can see that and I'm sorry for any miscommunication. Also, your statement regarding apple bobbing was wrong and off base and a variety variety of ways. That's one of the reasons why we want to communicate before making a public stance about something. The first being that we were successfully banning people who were abusing apple bobbing and other being that we only changed apple bobbing to combat bots and automation. We don't believe Royal High was designed to have gameplay that isn't engaging or social and that system isn't in line with the direction of the game we want to incentivize a bunch of different play styles that engage players, but that's hard to do when the most currency for the least effort revolve around not interacting or engaging. So we buffed how much it rewards and how fast it rewards it, but changed how often you could do exclusively that, hoping that players could then earn more candies in a shorter time while also having more engaging and social gameplay. There is a bit more to it, but I think those were the two main ways that your statement was wrong and off base, and I hope that with some communication you can learn more about content and choices you disagree with and hopefully share thoughts and concerns, and we will do our best with what we have. I'd have to see the original communications that you had with the social media team. However, my understanding was that if you had a problem and concern, you'd bring it to them to comment more on that info. Then you could make the statement that you believe accurately portrays the situation. That way, you could address any concerns directly and I'll say on Twitter, please just tell me why, when you have a direct line to communicate with team members and make it seem like no one is willing to talk to you, though it's not only something we want to do and be better at, but something I thought was specifically required of you to continue using our program. It feels like it undermines the entire point of the program to try and have a direct way to reach out, but then go instantly to public tweets bashing the game and complaining about not having anyone to communicate with you, don't you agree? So I didn't really have anyone to communicate with because they wouldn't really let me communicate. They would dismiss everything I said. And I will show um, a prime example of that very soon with the messages I first sent launch on Twitter in 2022. And it just felt like I was being dismissed and and I knew that it was just not going to work out and that it wasn't my communication that was at fault. It felt more like it was theirs. Also, I think it's fair to say you're bashing and harshly criticizing the game to say why must we all suffer for a problem that was already solved. You clearly voiced the update didn't solve any issues and only hurt the player base, including yourself. Yes. That is true, but I wouldn't say it's bashing the game. I would more so say it's the truth. It wasn't me trying to bash the game. It was just me wanting to be honest. Also, in summary, you didn't realize that you need to bring things directly to the social media team, not a post on Twitter that are concerns or questions about Royal High or the updates, despite the last conversation. So right here, it confirms that they don't want me to post anything when it comes to my personal concerns about Royal High or to amplify community concerns either. This was further enforced by the statement the social media team made in which they said that they are a separate team from the development team to your statement of Royal Halloween. Sorry, I'm just laughing because this is just a lot of stuff he's sent me. He threw all this at me and it just overwhelmed me. If you're going to make any public statement denouncing something that Royal High has done or criticizing it as a bad choice and want to be publicly endorsed by us through a badge and in-game shout out, you must reach out to the social media team for comment slash clarification directly through a DM on Discord. This is to prevent statements that are untrue or not fully true on topics and that could then lead to confusion as to the state of the game, the intended reason slash direction of updates, or even if a problem had previously been solved. So right here, I feel like I was being blamed for confusing people when they have never really directly communicated 
through their social medias on things that people are confused about. If I was to confuse someone about something, they could literally just tweet. Like they responded to my joke tweet, but I'm not saying they should do that. But I'm saying that they are perfectly capable of clearing confusion on their own posts. They don't need to reply to mine because that would just bring more hate to me. But I'm saying like they could just post about confusions people have instead of blaming people for being confused in the first place. I'm sorry if anything has been unclear in the past. Please let me know if you need more elaboration about what is appropriate behavior to be publicly endorsed in the Crown Royalty Program. The point is to increase communication and create a better experience for everyone. We don't think your post that had no backing as to the success rate of banned exploiters or any information regarding the intentions and motivations behind the changes was a good reflection of clear communication between the Royal High Team and yourself. No public tweet regarding team responsibility or even lack of information regarding a specific question whether to you or to anyone else relieves you of the responsibility of having to DM your concern before criticizing the game. If you would like to openly criticize the game without attempting to directly communicate with us, we would have to remove you from the program. It goes against the intention of the program in its entirety. So are they saying the intention of the program is to keep influencers quiet? So this was the final reply in regards to this whole apple bobbing situation. Thank you for the clarification. Yes, I was excited about Royal Lane and commented that and that's when I received that response. I would have contacted them if I had known they could respond. It's my fault for assuming they couldn't respond about it based off the reply they have given me before and I apologize for doing that. I'll make sure to do it accordingly in the future. Thank you for clearing everything up and I am so sorry for my confusion. If I think they cannot respond for any reason in the future, next time I will ask instead of assuming. So... Now, this response I gave was just me being like, I just give up. I'm just going to say something that they want to hear. <laughs> that is, I'm being honest with you guys right now. I just said something that I think they would want to hear because I just was so overwhelmed with how much information he spewed at me with all those messages. I just was like, oh my God. Also, not to mention, it was my birthday when he was messaging me during this whole apple bobbing thing. And I know like my birthday is only one day, but I had like... Uh, multiple different plans every day for my birthday to hang out with like different people and family members and stuff So it was just like really stressful. I just wanted to celebrate my birthday, bro Like so now we're going to talk about the first time that I ever Contacted and was contacted by the Royal High account and contacting Lance. So this was the contact so Lance made a tweet in the past about defending police brutality. Here are the screenshots um, that are referenced and you can read them. I just, I, I feel really wrong just reading these. Like, So I don't remember what I tweeted, but I did make a tweet talking about how terrible that is that he said that. And Royal High reached out to me September, 2022 and said, hi there, we are reaching out to you because you're a member of our badge holder program. By holding a badge in our game, we are saying we support you and that you uphold our standards. If you think our standards are bad or you don't support us we would never want you to be in a program that requires you to have our support or be approved by us if you do support the game and its owners and creators but feel something isn't a good reflection on us then feel free to let us know we are always available for you to contact directly otherwise if you choose to tweet your negative opinions of the owners and creator and game we will support your desire to no longer be associated we do not think it is healthy to have both the creators we do not think it's healthy to have the support of the game and its creators but then say things to bash the creators this is against our code of conduct which is required to be able to retain your badge and remain in our programs please let us know how you feel about our standards and programs because based on your tweets we are aware you have a negative opinion and therefore would perhaps be happier no longer associating directly with us or our programs thank you i said hi i very much do have support for this game and love the whole entire idea of the game and i have been playing it ever since i was 14 years old i don't have any problems with the game or even the creators of the game directly i do have a few problems with the community side of it and especially on twitter i personally feel like it isn't right to ask badge holders to not criticize the game or the creators when there's something very wrong from what i have observed the code of conduct seems like it only comes into play when something is either wrong with the game or the creator's part of the game i feel like that is not fair and that the system is very unbalanced and not handled in the best way it could be 
This is not coming from a place of hate or a place of where I hate the game and don't want to be associated with it. This is coming from me as a player of this game for four years and of care. I do very much care about this game and all of the developers part of it, but that doesn't mean I can't give criticism about the game and creators and developers. I'm not trying to argue or belittle any of the team or especially the creators. I'm trying to give my thoughts and opinions respectfully as I do very much have respect for this game still. Basically what I am saying is please reconsider the apology posts and do not bring your other developers down with you and please reconsider the code of conduct or at least when it's coming into play. Thank you so much for reading this and I hope you can understand my point of view. So what I'm referencing here is Royal High made an apology post on behalf of Lance for those tweets that I showed you guys. And that wasn't right to me and a lot of people. Uh, I feel, and others do as well, that Lance should have apologized on his own account because that is where the post came from. Royal High shouldn't be apologizing on someone's behalf, you know? Royal High says, you could have chosen to contact us or launch directly rather than making public statements which cause more upset. We would then have been able to provide you with the full response quickly without the need for public callouts. Instead, you decided to make it public despite having direct access to us and it feels odd for us to continue to support you publicly if you don't support our creators. We are not stating that you cannot hold people accountable, but we are stating that you could have spoken to us directly about it instead. Your constructive opinions could have been directed to us in private. I understand and I do very much apologize for not reaching out, but I am now. Also, I never said I did not support the team or the game. In my message before, I said I still very much do and that I am coming from a place of care. Unfortunately, while there are tweets on your account publicly breaking the code of conduct and bashing the game and its developers, we cannot continue to support you while you don't support our standards. We appreciate that you are reaching out now, but we hope our program members would do that first. Then may I speak with you about the problem and I can delete the tweets? Like, I just was like wanting to fix this. I was really worried about like the future of the game. I really was wanting them to actually be successful. So I was trying to like show that. If your problem is intended to be directly to launch, you may message him directly. If it is a wider game issue, you may send it to us. Thank you, I will be damning Lance, but I would like to also send out here about the wider issues as well. My main issue is the way the community issues are handled on Twitter, specifically the code of conduct. I understand that this was made to help prevent bullying, toxicity in the community, and etc., but at the end of the day, I don't really feel like, and I believe many others according to posts I have seen, feel like the code of conduct is actually preventing any of that, and instead it is silencing people who are giving constructive criticism for the game. I understand it might look like it is hate sometimes, and I definitely do see the posts that come off more as hate, but even I, who is not coming from a place of hate and is just caring about the game is being silenced for this. I even said directly in the tweet I have posted re today regarding Royal High Creators and my constructive criticism that I am not trying to be hateful or call out in a negative light. I feel like this rule is not really fair and that this is starting to feel more like I am being told I cannot be honest about my opinions. I understand I didn't need to publicly tweet, but as someone with a platform in this community, I felt like I needed to use it to help out for the sake of the game and the developers. I hope that you can take these words into consideration for deciding the future of Royal High. And look at this. This is what I mean about the dismissing. We appreciate your concerns and we can of course take this into consideration and share with our wider team. We are grateful for you reaching out to us privately. This is why they want you to reach out to you privately, so that they can dismiss anything that you say. Nothing has changed since I said this and this is a year and a half ago since. This was September 2022. Nothing has changed. There's still the same code of conduct and they're still getting mad at me for it today and that's why my badge got removed. And I just want to send this because it was really strange to me. They sent this to me October 3rd, 2022. Hi there. We just want to make it clear that your voice matters to us. We are always grateful for your support whether that's agreeing or disagreeing with us. We want you to know that you are heard and that we provide this account so that if you need to you can call contact us regarding issues. If you ever have any concerns about Royal High, Royal High programs, or any devs or affiliates of Royal High, please reach out to the social media team so that we are made aware and can discuss these issues. We are forever grateful to our community and those who contribute to it. We want to ensure you're aware you can always contact us here. Thank you. So to me, this felt like their way of like damage control um, because I replied and I asked, thank you so much, does this mean the code of conduct for influencers is changing? They never responded to me. They just sent me a Discord where I get silenced even more to be invited to on December 8th, 2022. So 
They never responded. They just disregarded my question. And so if you don't know what the code of conduct is, I'm pretty sure I referenced it earlier in the video, but it's basically the rules that you have to follow when you have a badge, which I never signed up for again because my badge was given to me before it was made. It's not really fair that I'm being held to the standard when I never signed up for this. So now I'm going to go to the oldest messages I have. As um, you guys saw, I said that I was going to talk to Lance privately about apologizing better about what he said. And this is exactly what went down basically. So hi Lance, I was invited by the official Royal High Valks page to send you a message regarding my concerns about recent situations within the community. I just want to say before anything else that this is a place of concern and love for this community and I really do care about this community and making sure everyone is happy and comfortable here. I saw on my timeline that you were being held accountable for older tweets. I also later saw that Royal High Valks account posted an apology for you. I'm not 100% sure who runs the account but I and a lot of others according to their tweets really wish that instead of that account posting an apology that you did instead. An account to many of us in the community view it as an account with all of the developers part of Royal High and associate all of the developers with it. What happened had nothing to do with any of the developers or really even part of the game in general. What happened was about you and what you have said and done. And I think it would be an amazing idea that you instead post an apology on your own account about what happened. I also feel like the blocking of everyone who was involved with holding you accountable was not a great approach either. So there was some tweets and posts made around this time where people were saying that they were getting blocked or saying the things that he was saying. I understand you might want to block out toxicity and I can totally see why you might see it that way, but a lot of the community is just very hurt by your older posts. It may not be who you are anymore, but you still should own up for who you were then and show how much you changed by not running from it. For example, blocking people involved for holding you accountable. So um, I was really trying my best to like walk on eggshells here to not make him mad. I felt like if I said it in the tone of how actually severe it was that he would get really mad at me and even though I still feel like I said it in a very like light-hearted like sugar-coating way he was still really rude to me in these dms which you're going to see at the end of my message i say i really 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 recommend that you apologize on your personal account since that is where the tweets were made and also please consider apologizing for seeming like you're hiding from the problem by blocking people and also having the royal high valks account post your apology for you instead so then he sends a very very long message actually multiple messages just basically spam like say a long message then another long message is really overwhelming and it, it's just a whole bunch of nothing that is said so basically what he said in this first one is that nothing that i was even trying to address it was me trying to address him defending police brutality is what i was trying to address him cursing in the past is not even as near as important as the actual thing i was trying to address him about I'm sorry to start just summarizing what he was saying to me here, but it is 8 a.m. for me. I've been editing this since uh, like 12 a.m., started recording it at 10 p.m., so I'm kind of like rushing near the end here, but I am still showing the screenshots, but he just starts trying to explain to me that uh, like his reasonings behind defending it and then was like kind of like apologizing to me in a way, which I found a little weird because it was not the target audience that was like affected by what he said and all I was trying to do was just to get him to apologize publicly. I have a busy day ahead. Would you be interested in the voice chat to go over things a bit quicker? I don't want to voice chat so I just I just ignored that. I think or no I didn't I said I was out um, that day and I said thanks for responding. I feel that my message might have caused some confusion because my message just feels as if it wasn't directly responded to. I don't think me or anyone else that I have noticed online have a problem with the cursing. Although I do believe that yes, since you do have children's eyes on you in the community that you shouldn't post those types of things, the concern most people are having is to do with the police brutality during 2020. Those tweets and replies are what a lot of people are asking for a personal apology from you for since a lot have said that it comes off as racist. If you're confused what exactly I'm talking about, I can find screenshots for you. I'm sorry. Um, if my message just caused any confusion and um, then he said sorry you weren't specific in what you were talking about so I was taking them in order the first thing they found and s started sharing to cancel me was the cursing to be clear are you implying that I'm racist from what was said in those tweets so this is when the conversation 
just completely just goes off the topic. It's now he cares about what I think of him when that doesn't even matter. What matters is what the community thinks of him. What matters is him apologizing to the people he hurt by saying that. But all he starts talking about is, so you think I'm racist, so you think I'm racist, when that's not even the point. I was just asking for him to apologize from his own account. That was all that this was. And you can see here that he literally says that he doesn't see a relevance to what the community is thinking. And he just wants to know exactly what I think of him, which I just thought was so weird. I never even wanted that to be the point of this conversation. I just wanted him to apologize because I just cared about the sake of the game and how this like hurt the community. I'm like that was really all it was. And I definitely would have changed my responses now because honestly, I was going a little too easy on him. I don't think that he deserved this much patience that I had with him. Honestly, it was so frustrating. So he did that thing again where he just like said a lot of stuff and overloaded me with information and words. So I kind of shut down and I just was like, I don't think I can respond to him. So I stopped replying. And then I responded to him in the morning, eight hours later, and just basically just tried to sum up that I just wanted him to apologize. That was the whole point of this. And we went to this whole argument about if he's racist or not and conclusion i think he is i've never talked to him prior to this i i only talk to him when i get in trouble for saying too much all i was wanting was just for him to apologize because i actually cared about the success of the game at the time this is when i was trying to walk on eggshells begging him to just apologize is what i'm trying to say here and i think he ended up apologizing and the apology was not great even after me begging for so long to apologize in a correct way he did it incorrectly and then a few days later the royal Halloween 2022 update came out and with this update i'm sure you guys remember if you're an older player but if you go to like any of your bodices now you can see that they've gotten noticeably thinner and i remember a lot of people being really hurt by this update so for example a corset that got thinner was the royal rebel corset so this is what it looks like now and that's what i, th I don't remember if that's what it looked like before but same with the monterey like things like got thinner in that area and people were really upset about it understandably and here i'm gonna put a happy face on now <laughs> um and so i thought you know why can't there be toggles for a normal size version and the thinner version of the uh corsets so i asked royal high about that and for some reason some odd reason Lance decided to respond to my question that i asked royal high about regarding the bodice rework privately which was really weird to me it felt like he wanted to dismiss me privately so i wouldn't talk about it publicly anymore is what it felt like to me i'm not saying that's true but that is what it felt like and i am assuming that because um there was never an actual answer uh publicly from the official royal high page but just in dms privately with Lance. So this is what it says. Hey there, social media team sent me this tweet. We didn't include details about what we can do and can't do or how much time and effort it would require because we didn't want anyone to think we were making excuses. So they, they are aware that they are making excuses and I feel like they really could be making toggles because how are you gonna tell me that they're not able to make toggles for different size bodices when we have these shoes right here that have different size thighs on the legs if we can have different size legs why can't we have different size chests that is it doesn't make sense to me so anyways i know that the shoes came out later but they could go back and do it right now but they're just choosing not to which is really weird to me he then said implementing the old versions into the toggle system would be a bit project likely several days at least and would create more mesh data we are still looking at more ways to foster creativity and representation as the official royal high said so they said that it's going to take them several days to work on it so they don't want to do it what you don't want to add more representation because it's going to take several days i just responded because i was like okay he's dismissing me and i can't do this anymore like thanks for the reply i get that it would take a really long time but i really suggest doing it because the community would love for that to be included i'm very glad you guys are looking for more ways to bring representation into the game and i hope that you guys can add the toggle somehow into the game even if it does take a long time because it would definitely be worth it that's all i said and then he was just like yeah we'll take that into account thanks for the feedback and that concludes all the dms that i have between me 
Lance and Royal High and why my badge got removed is because I am sick and tired of being dismissed and feeling like I'm not being heard and that's how they treat a lot of the community and I am so sad because I love this game. I love the community. I've never ever felt so welcomed by any community but the like creators itself have made me feel so unwelcomed and not listened to and it's just really upsetting because i really love you guys and i love the game i love dressing up like that's so fun like i play sunset island like every day <laughs> but they just don't want to listen to me and now they want to remove my badge because i have said a few things that are honest and wasn't even ever disrespectful and was things that people were already saying and i know that they're they're not required to keep me on the program like i'm not saying like i'm entitled to stay because i'm talking about the game in a negative way in their eyes but i'm just saying i don't think it's fair to expect someone to be 100 happy with every decision that a game makes and if they're unhappy with one thing that they get in trouble for saying that like there is no game that i've ever worked for that has ever treated me that way also this video isn't like an attempt to get my badge back i don't care anymore honestly like it's so exhausting having one because of how i get dms like this but I just wanted to make this video to inform you guys on why it was removed and the mistreatment that I have gotten and I know a lot of other influencers now um, are also getting the same mistreatment and it's really sad to see. I also just want to say thank you so much for the support ever since I posted about, you know, my badge being removed. A lot of people have been really supportive and I really appreciate that and I'm so thankful that you guys are giving me the benefit of the doubt and believing me. Even though I haven't even posted this yet, you guys are believing me and I really appreciate that. And I, I just want to say, like, please don't attack Royal High. This is more so to just give you guys the information because I just want to be 100% honest now. This isn't an attempt to attack, but just to show my side of the story. So please don't send hate and please always remain respectful if you want to address anything. But don't, like, harass or target or, like send threats like that i don't really want that to come out of this i just really wanted to share my story before you see my badge get removed in royal high i just want to share what's been going on behind the scenes for so long now i don't know what i'm gonna really do next with the channel i really don't want to quit making royal high videos i'm not really sure yet about if i'm quitting royal high videos like i already have some pre-recorded but um, I just, I really do want to play the game still because, again, I do love the game, but it is going to take me some time because I just have been disrespected so much and I just, I'm kind of sick and tired of it, like I've said, and I am wanting to branch out and make more Adopt Me videos. I actually really love Adopt Me. I have for a while, like since 2019, but I haven't been able to fully get myself into it because I've just been focusing on making Royal High content because I know that's what people really enjoy and I've just been kind of scared to take that leap, you know? So I really want to make more Adopt Me content, but I also don't want to abandon Royal High because that's where most of you guys are from or all of you guys but i also want to focus on a vlog channel i actually have a vlog channel called Haley bear so please subscribe to me there if you haven't yet i will be posting vlogs more i haven't posted since before the new school came out because i have literally been trapped in my room waiting on updates to come out for royal high um ever since the new school came out and i want to get back into going out again i've i have barely gone out really and vlogging would be so much fun to do again and i love making like shopping vlogs and stuff so please subscribe if you're interested in that and like sanrio and plushies like that because i unbox those and it's really fun but yeah thank you so much for the support and listening all the way until the end and um I just want to say that no matter what happens, like, I will always try to be honest with you guys from this point forward, and I'm sorry that I haven't been because of uh, these restrictions I've been going through. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching this video, and I am going to bed now. It is 9 a.m., and that's crazy, and... <laughs> I've been up for nine hours editing this video, and I'm so sorry it's really long, but thank you so much again for the support. I love you guys. Bye, Care Bears!